Hi, my name's Andy. I'm from Riz Music, and today I'm looking at the CS3. Uh, this is a, a compression and stair pedal combo. Um, a compressor is fundamentally something that allows you to uh, put a cap on your sound and it kind of creates it. It's been used in almost every kind of junction in music now and almost on every instrument because it um, gives you control over it and dynamic range and all sorts of things like that. And also one of the great things about this has a sustain built into it. So if you're doing gigs or whatever and you need to stay on note for a long time or maybe just start the fact you're playing with quite low gain and sometimes you just want to hold a note for like a clean note for a long time, this is a really good pedal for that. Um, I'll quickly walk you through the controls. So we have a uh, level. The level is just the overall level of the uh, sound after it leaves the pedal. We have a tone. The tone is kind of used for just if you want the compression to be quite sharp and whatnot. You can use it in conjunction with a, a boost, which is in the video later. Uh, we've got an attack, which is basically how fast the compression actually starts to act on it. So if you want to be like really aggressive and you want it to be really tight and uh, concise, then you kind of have it low. If you want it to be quite nice and airy, you have it quite long. And then we have the sustain, which kind of just uh, how much sustain you want from after it. Um, and we'll see a few variations of that in the video. And uh, this is what it sounds like. So the settings for this sound are the level is at about 2 o'clock. The tone is just past 12. The attack's at about 10 to 12. And the sustain it just passed twelve. Um, so this is what it sounds like without the pedal, and then with it on. that you can use a compression pedal for which might not be the most traditional way of doing it is um, as a, a boost pedal almost um, considering that it's got a level and a tone function it seems kind of ideal considering that like a lot of Ibanez like tube screaming pedals have the same functionality but it doesn't add any distortion or any kind of background gain it just makes it louder which is kind of what you want for a solo or to cut through a mix um, I'll just walk through the controls uh, sorry the settings before uh, we go for it uh, the level's at max, so this is the loudest, it's a nice little boost. The tone's at 12, the attack is just past 12, and the sustain's also just past 12. Um, and this one it sounds like without it. And that's the nice one. So, what we'll do is I'll just play a little bit and then a little bit of solo. So. 